Introducing Easy Wheels. It may look like your standard wheelchair, but this new prototype is anything but standard. It's moving like any other chair, right? We'll take a closer look. Push and pull. Your standard wheelchair is just push, a movement which is not only inefficient, but painful, with users experiencing pain in the wrists and shoulder after just one year. But for 1% of the population, there is little other choice. Until now. Dr. Claire Flemmer of the School of Engineering and Advanced Technology decided the standard wheelchair needed an overhaul. Um, it started about 30 years ago when Rory and I were watching a lady really struggling to go up a wheelchair ramp and we looked at and thought it's really crazy that wheelchairs haven't changed in their design for pretty much 100 years. We were pretty much idealistic academics to begin with. We just saw this person struggling and said let's build a chair that can go in any terrain and it was good in the rough terrain and as soon as you took it inside it was horrible and clunky. We said okay back to the drawing board what makes it horrible inside and we pretty soon realized that the whole mechanism had to change and that the standard manual wheelchair mechanism is good inside so we thought okay we've got to retain that but what can we add to it that will make it better outside as well and from there we said right it's got to be more powerful so it's got to have gearing it's got to be less straining for the user, um, so it mustn't have jarring of the wrists and shoulders as you push it for long distances. It's basically, we wanted to try and balance the use of all the muscles around the joints, because the reason people get pain from driving a wheelchair is that they have an imbalanced repetitive strain on all the joints. With our motion, you push and you pull equally, so you have a much more even load on the joints and they don't get damaged, which means they don't get as much pain. So from the point of view of an elderly frail person it's very hard for them just to move in the standard wheelchair and that means that their world shrinks largely till they're just moving around their house so suddenly they have very little social interaction and that means alongside of the pain and the condition that put them in the wheelchair in the first place they're also going to suffer greater risk of depression, anxiety and a much poorer quality of life. No journey is without its bumps in the road, with the chair being redesigned countless times throughout the years. There for it all was Dr. Flemmer's husband, Rory, who was charged with converting the vision into a usable chair. The normal wheelchair is great, provided you don't leave your house. If you leave your house and try and go up a ramp, you're going to suffer. If you're quite old, as 50% of wheelchair users are, you're going to suffer very badly and you're going to damage your shoulders. Okay, we're in standard mode here, and when I push it forward, it goes, the wheel goes forward. When I pull it back, the wheel goes back. I can select low gear. When that goes forward, the wheel goes forward. When it goes back, the wheel goes back, but you see it's turning pretty slowly. I can select high gear. When I go forward, the wheel goes forward much faster. When I go back, the wheel goes back much faster. So this is a perfectly standard chair but it's got the advantage of the three gears. If I move this back I'm now in what we call run mode. I push it forward and the wheel goes forward. I pull it back and miracle of miracles the wheel goes forward. So that all I have to do is pump this push rim and I go forward. If I want to go forward fast I turn it into high gear and it then goes fast or I can put it in low gear and it goes slowly. We knew we were up against a very advanced technology. We knew it was 100 years old. And it's quite hard to beat something that's been around for 100 years. With the prototype now complete, with all engineering obstacles overcome, work will now begin on the production model, which will be significantly slimmer and lighter and could hit the streets as early as next year. Ryan Willoughby, Messy News.